a lot of people that have been slandered, lied on, you know, um, just mistreated and didn't retaliate. A lot of people are, are still dealing with the fact of, you know, they didn't get their lick back or they didn't get a chance to vindicate themselves or to, you know, let out their side of the story. And it could be sitting on some of you guys. But I just want to let y'all know that I promise y'all God already vindicated you. The person doesn't have to come out and apologize. They're not going to. But I promise you, God showed them what's up with you. God is crafty like that. I promise you, he don't let nobody talk about his babies his his sons, his daughters. He don't he don't let them do that. And especially when we don't retaliate, especially when we don't take matters into our own hands. Now God has to do something about it. Cuz it, it's just law and order. It's just it's just how it goes. You know, what goes up must come down. God God is telling us to keep our hands clean. He is vindicating all of us. He is letting these people know who we really are. You know, these people, they might talk about us and have a random person come in and praising us. That's the type of time God is on. You know, God will have a person that don't like us and make all their friends repost us on the timeline so they can be like, damn, I'm the only one that don't like them. God vindicated you. If you were lied on, God vindicated you. And the person is not going to apologize because they feel like a weirdo and a nut. They're a loser and they know it.